To get the full advantage of your rear suspension, it has to be set up and adjusted correctly. To do this, you will need to set up the sag. Suspension sag is the distance of how much the rear suspension compresses when the weight of the rider, including any gear carried, hydration bag, helmet, spares, etc., is applied. Most manufacturers recommend around 25% as a starting point. Too much sag means you are absorbing too much travel before you hit your first obstacle. This may cause bottoming out. Too little sag means that you are not utilising the full travel. First set the rear suspension to the open or descent position. Check to see if there is a thin rubber ring on the stanchion. This is the O-ring. If there isn't one, then put a zip tie around the stanchion and tighten it so that it is firm but can still slide up and down. While you are leaning against the wall, apply either one of the brakes and stand with both feet on the pedals. Bounce up and down a few times to break the stiction and then sit on the saddle. Now move the o-ring or zip tie to where the stanchion joins the shock body. Get off the bike carefully without further compressing the suspension. Now you can calculate your current sag. You will need the stroke length of the suspension. First, find the serial number or ID code. This is usually marked on the main body of the shock. Now go to the manufacturer's website. Once you know the stroke length, write it down on the piece of paper. Now, using the ruler, measure the distance in millimetres between the O-ring and the point where the stanchion meets the shock body. Let's do the calculation. So in this case, the current sag is 33 millimetres. Now, let's divide that by the stroke length. It equals 0.693 millimetres. Finally, let's multiply this by 100 to give the percentage. The sag on the bike is 69% which is above the recommendation. To reach the desired percentage between 25% and 30%, some air needs to be added. Adding or releasing 10 PSI at a time is advised. Now it's time to recheck the sag. If there's still too much sag, then keep adding some more air. If there's not enough sag, then release some of the air using the button on the shock pump until you reach the recommended percentage.